what is up people SK here hope you enjoyed this gameplay this is a 140 ah oh, crap I've messed up hold on let me actually go on my laptop and check it hold on oh now it's being slow come on we've not got time for this I've got a commentary to do aha there we go 146 to 2 with a nuclear so yeah it's an assault nuclear and high scoring gameplay and yeah so but you, you get the gist of what I'm saying it's a good gameplay so nevertheless I hope you enjoy it and and commentary time once again and yeah just before I continue no 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 it is not a commentary I repeat not a commentary on um, you know, a girlfriend boyfriend situation. So, if you came for that, I apologize. But it's about something more interesting. Yes, I think it is. It is about Call of Duty. Actually, uh, um, okay, maybe not. But anyway, yes, it's not me, it's you. Let's get into it. So, Call of Duty. Which Call of Duty am I talking about? Eh, I don't know. You can kind of relate to all of them. Maybe. Maybe not, but nevertheless, we all know about the stealth perks and how at the start they used to be beast, like they were literally indestructible, like there was one perk, one perk that contained all the stealth attributes in them and it's just like, what? Are you crazy? People didn't like it, they were like, are you crazy? I mean, <laughs> cold blooded on Modern Warfare 2. You have that on. You are safe from UAVs, air support, thermal, your name won't pop up as an enemy, the crosshairs won't go red. I mean, it does everything. It does everything. But, it wasn't the most used perk. No, 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 no. It was not. You had danger close. And you had stopping power pro and I'm not gonna lie I'm about that stopping power life because danger close eh, I wasn't really a fan of the new shoes let's not get into that we do not need to get into that because it's about to be a girl fight nah, nah forget that but yeah stopping power was the thing now the next call of duty ghosts now I do have this handed down to it, credited as the most balanced Call of Duty out of all of them and to be honest that is, I think it is, I mean if you disagree let me know in the comment section because it would be interesting because when you actually look at Black Ops 1 the gun balance is on point, I'm not gonna lie, it was actually a challenge to use some of the guns because it's like if you want this gun to perform as it can as the attributes say, obviously let's say it's the best gun in the game when you actually put it on, it's like, yeah, we're going to throw the 9 damage at you, best damage in the game, but for you to get that 9 damage on the person, so you can kill him first in that gunfight, you've got to control it. Because yes, there's recoil, yes, there's obviously recoil patterns, yes, you're going to have to use your analog stick, you've got to keep that shit under control, you have to control it. That's why I think it's balanced, but obviously there's also the kill streaks. There's also certain perks, but you know what? It carried on to Black Ops 2. And I know you're probably thinking, what? I mean, uh, A94, bro, no recoil. No, not like that. It carried over in a sense. I mean, we've got Ghost now. I mean, the perks are still wonderful. We've got Ghost. I think that is well balanced, I mean, they're saying, you can use this stealth perk, you can stay off the radar, but you have to keep moving, and as you see, you do get them idiots putting ghost on and then hiding in corners, no, 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 it doesn't work like that, no, it does not, anyway, what I'm trying to say is now, the kill streaks. there's this matter of how people are saying, as the Call of Duty's have progressed, that the kill streaks are getting worse and worse because they can't kill no one. When, you know, I don't really think it's the kill streaks that are to blame. Every single Call of Duty 
at the start, you will see the wrath of the kill streaks. You will see them at the full force because no one knows what perks to run, what streaks to run, where's this, where's that, where's the buildings. They don't know nothing. And so, you put on the streaks, and obviously I'm post on, but so I'm like, hey, 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 gotta get it on them high streaks, and nah, me, 100 plus me. And they go ham. Advanced Warfare now, people are complaining saying the streaks are absolutely bogus, and to be honest, they were complaining about the streaks on Ghosts, and to be honest, they're pretty good. I mean, compare them to the Advanced Warfare ones. Uh, yeah, the Advanced Warfare ones are better, but unfortunately, you can have more fun on Ghosts, because Advanced Warfare is just slow paced. But nevertheless, the kill streaks are good, because it's not the problem. No, 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 it's not the problem. Black Ops 2 was fine with this but when advanced warfare implemented when sledgehammer decided to implement the pick 13 system not even pick 10 13 it's like it doesn't make any sense i mean i know they're new to the scene and they're trying to please the fans which they're not doing not too bad of a job so that's for you sledgehammer that is for you but you know they're not doing too bad but I think the pick 13 system is too much because you're giving um, people too much of a choice now. You know, this ops players to, to use like everything, everything, almost everything, I know it's only 13, but everything. Because the way they've done the perks, it's not good, I mean, you put all the good perks in the third tier slot. And then you put low profile in perk tier 1, which is the best perk there. Low profile is the best perk there. And vice versa with perk tier 2. Because blind eyes in there and that's the best perk. So, you know, there's just no competition. You're going to put low profile on. You're going to put blind eye on. So when I'm there calling in my warbird, it can go ham. I have seen the proof it can go ham. And it don't go ham. And then they're calling the Paladin, the Paladin don't go ham, the Assault Drone don't go ham, when they can go ham and get you 100 pluses for days. It's just like, what? It's not our fault to be honest. It's because they need to fix up with the perk selections. I mean, it was fine in Black Ops 2. Fair enough, the Pick 10 system does work. But they just went a bit too far with 13. Maybe die it down a bit and sort out where the perks are going to go. So make sure you're going to have to make a sacrifice if you actually want to use that perk. Not just, oh, I'm going to use blind eyes off the map. Ooh, low profile right there. The third one is kind of a sacrifice because you've got all the perks in the third tier slot in Advanced Warfare is good. But Black Ops 2 did it well. The Call of Duty before that did it well. Let me know what you think anyway. This is SK. This has been a very smoky, hot gameplay. And I'm sorry if you can hear that banging. But nevertheless, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.